I decided to shake things up a little bit with my video location um, and bring you some good news and a response to my video last week. So last week I talked about a market shortage of homes priced below $300,000. And a lot of people replied and it was a mixture of, we'll say confusion and outrage. People were like, okay, crazy lady, I bought this house two, three years ago. I'm not going to give it up and go into this nutso market where uh, people are putting in multiple offers. There might not even be a home that I like or a home for me. What are you thinking? And here's what I'm thinking. That the process that it takes to become a move up buyer, which means to hopefully pay down your home as it increases in value, um, someone gives you money for it and then you move on, um, that process has been shortened immensely based on how good mortgage rates are, how low they are right now. Now a lot goes into a mortgage rate, including your credit, um, you know, the way the market's going, um, all kinds of things like that, how much you're putting down on your home. But we have been seeing rates in the 2.8 to 2.93% range. So in very plain terms, if you bought even within the last two to three years, your rate was probably three and a half to four and a quarter um, to borrow money. And now with them being 2.8 or 2.9, you can afford to have a budget that is 12% higher at the exact same monthly payment. So that may be a weird thing to say. It may feel salesy or high pressure, but it's just the mechanics of the market right now and where rates are. If you were to put more money down from the sale of your home, or if you have improved your credit since you bought your last home, um, then that will only serve to help you in your next home. So I say all of this to explain that you're not going to be buying a home that's in your exact same price range. So let's say you bought two years ago at a higher rate in the $300,000 price range. You could very well afford 12% more at minimum and use that to move up into a less competitive price range. So again, the 350 is kind of where we see that drop off. There's still some competition, there's still some market shortage, but it's not the intense pressure that I mentioned in the last video. So what that would look like for you would be to list your home, hopefully sell it with multiple offers or above and or above what y'all listed it for. You would take that money and either put some into savings or use some as your down payment, find your next home, which would be one step above where you are now. So nobody necessarily will go out and buy the exact same price that they spent last time. And now you can afford to at least bump that up by 12%. Um, again, the more you put down, the better your credit has gotten, the more you net from your past sale, all of that will positively impact where you can go. But all of this to say, um, most people that have bought within the last one to two years are going to be bumped out of the more competitive price range and be able to afford a lot more and be happier. So I hope that helps clear up a little bit of the fact that I'm not trying to kick you out of your house or make you go into um, this, you know, bidding war or whatever uh, people are calling it, but that you can naturally just afford a little bit nicer house.